Hey everyone, Becky from Week 99 are here. I am back with another Matter Box. Um, this is one of the subscription boxes I pay for myself every month. I love it. It has a bunch of weird little science things inside. You get four or five different things that are museum quality. And what they want you to do is kind of explore the world around you. So in the past, we've gotten um, $10 billion bills from Zimbabwe. We've gotten um, dead seawater. And we get a lot of really kind of cool stuff in here. Now this box is $40 a month, but the items inside are kind of really unique and it's not something you would find elsewhere. So this is why I continue to get this one. It's always interesting and intriguing to see what we get in it every month. So immediately when you open the box, we do have little cards telling us everything in here. Um, I don't usually like to read those right off the bat, um, just to see what's in here and I like to kind of explore it. There is always usually one item on top. Sometimes it needs explanation. This time it is a wind bag. So apparently this bag is um, Bernoulli's principle while others... So you can use air friction and entertainment and trainment. I can't read today. So what you do is you breathe in this bag and it inflates in one breath. I'll have to test that later. I'm not quite sure that I want to do that directly at my camera. I don't have a lot of space here. Um, unroll it and tie it in an item one end and try is in place by blowing into the open end. It isn't very effective up close, but if you hold the bag about one foot away, just one breath can inflate the whole bag. So we'll try this out, um, but not right now. So I'm going to probably give this to my nephew to try because, you know, kids are full of energy and air. So, and see what else is in here. So, so this is really interesting. This is what is in the box this month. Um, what else do we have? We have some red argonite. It's a biogenic mineral. We have cats destroying the office as usual. So argonite is a crystalline mineral that is formed through biological and physical process. Biologically is formed by deposits in marine environments and can even form the endoskeletons of some corals. So look how kind of cool that is. I wonder if I can get this to focus a little better. No, probably not. So we have this, that is really cool. Um, if you like stones and you like rocks, this is really neat. Use in aquariums to replace reef conditions and maintain a natural pH level. So we don't have any aquariums in the house. I'd be afraid that they would not survive with these two cats. Um, but my sister does, so we'll see if this is something she'd be interested in. Otherwise, it's just pretty to display, so we'll see. Okay, so what else do we have? We have a fish fossil. So the fish fossil is from the Eocene period from about 48 to 53 million years ago. Fish are difficult to fossilize due to their soft bodies, bones, and the fact that their bodies decompose in water if they are not eaten by other animals. However, thanks to unusual ideal preservation conditions of where this fish died, modern day Green River, Wyoming, so not very far away, humans have discovered a great collection of fish fossils. The basin here, which has low oxygen levels, exhibits very minimal bacterial growth, which delayed decomposition. Look how cool that is. You can actually kind of see the fishy in here. Not a very big fish. Probably holding it upside down the whole time there. Now you can actually see a fish. So that one is cool. And I had one of these as a kid. Uh, my parents, we always took road trips all over. And one of the things my dad liked to do was to visit all of the Civil War battlegrounds. So we actually have a Civil War bullet. I don't know where the one from when I was a kid went. It's probably in a box somewhere in the basement, just like everything else. Um, so this is a lead conical bullet with three exterior grooves and a hollow base. This bullet was excavated from the battle site of Brandy Station in Culpeper County, Virginia. So not only do they tell you what the item is, but they're telling you where they found it. And this is really, really cool. Um, it says this bullet was innovation that brought about the widespread use of rifle rather than the musket. So, and it does show, um, reminder that scientific innovations aren't always made, of the, made with the best intentions. It, you know, it does have that little macabre bit that this was probably used to kill somebody, but it is a piece of our history. So, we'll put that there. See a neat little bullet. And the last item is titanium. They actually sent us some titanium, in which this is cool. It's not very heavy. 
So we have a titanium coin, and my hand is shaking today. It's probably my coffee hasn't kicked in. So titanium coin, and it's actually relatively thick. And sorry if you see the cats jumping back there. So on the front, I like the fact that it actually has like the scientific, um, the periodic table number and all of that on there. So it's a metal element that is lightweight, corrosion resistant, as strong as steel, although much more expensive. These properties make it perfect for air, aircraft ships and spacecraft parts. So that's really, really kind of neat. So add to our element collection, 95% of titanium ore is used as titanium dioxide is white pigment and paint. And since we spent so many years in um, design school and art classes, we probably have quite a bit of this in the basement too. So it's non-toxic, biocompatible, and used as medical instruments and implants. So if you're like me and have surgery and a screw in your body somewhere, you probably have this in your body as well. So this is this month's Matter Box. Um, again, it's $40 a month plus shipping, so I think it ends up being like $43. Um, I always love getting these. They're very interesting, and for me, you know, there's never a point in our history that we should, or in our lives, that we should stop learning. So I find this always intriguing, and they're kind of fun things to display around. So I will leave a link below if you're interested in getting one of these yourself. It is a fun gift if you know somebody who's geeky in your life. Um, so like, comment, subscribe, and we will be back with you guys later this week with more unboxings. I think we have some more travel videos coming up as well. And we will talk to you soon. Bye.